against Texas. Yeah. Um, I thought we were really gutsy today. Like I thought we played so um, confident and just gutsy, um, which is how we have played most of the year. Um, and that was what we challenged our team that said, make a choice to just be gutsy. And, and I mean, Shelby Henderson come in having a hard, hard um, base hit up the middle and a hard position and then Bree getting that hit. I mean, um, but we played gutsy all, all game. Like they scored on Peyton on a, on a, on a really tough play where Peyton goes hard and goes in the wall. Like, I mean, that's just a gutsy play. So I'm just proud of our kids. We just played the game the right way. And talk about Aaron's performance again, um, limiting Texas to four hits, two runs. Just yeah. talk about how phenomenal yeah. she was. Yeah, I mean, this is the Aaron we know. You know, this kid that just doesn't lose and um, just finds a way. And we also hit her in the lineup, which we hadn't done a lot this year. And um, she's just so competitive and ornery, like an ornery kid. And she was just determined to to not lose, like determined. And she got multiple people out over and over. She saw some people four times, um, and they just they couldn't time her up, and um, and they couldn't get her location on her. It was just such a gutsy, like so determined, gritty performance. It was it was exactly what we needed because we need. We need her every series. We need that Aaron, and she knows that, and I think she will get that every time. Uh, Bree Russell is a huge part of the offense today, obviously, bringing, hitting that sack fly to bring it around and then hitting that last um, shot just to left center. Just talk about how amazing she was in the lineup today. And I mean, I moved her to three because um, she was in, in, in six, and she was just getting such good at bats, just so competitive. Like I said, gritty at bats, and that's, I feel like that's how we're good. And so we're like, we're going to make the move and get you the most at bats because you have the, the grittiest attack at the plate. And, um, and clearly she, she made me look like that was the right move. Um, but for her to have such competitive at bats, I mean, to have two strikes and two outs, and it's the seventh inning, and I mean, come on. Um, good for her. And you mentioned that the team played real gutsy today. Does that remind you of? Sort of the energy that the team brought early on in the season, as yeah. in regards to like yeah, players. yeah. It's just taken us a little bit to just remember that, remember that that kind of swag or that um, you know that mindset that we just choose to 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 win or gut it out or find a way, no matter what, no matter how we feel, no matter how tired we are, no matter if we're hurt, whatever. Like we're pretty hurt, and it's still like whatever. Who cares? Like it's us against the world. What are you guys gonna do to get ready for tomorrow? Oh, I think we're ready. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're ready. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, G. Uh, honestly, it was crazy. Like, it was up and down the whole game, and being able to beat them was such a big deal for us. Um, just talk about not necessarily, like, what pitches were working, but, like, getting ahead, what all was just in your arsenal. That was definitely my focus for today. I have been struggling in the past with getting ahead, and so I thought that's what I need to do for today, and that's what I was mostly working on. From a competitive standpoint, like how was that going into today? Well, I have some friends on there, so it's really fun to compete against them. So, just not even looking them in the face, no, just another hitter, just another person on the field that I'm just gonna go after him. And the defense was so solid today. Does it make you feel more comfortable whenever you know they're making plays behind you and they're coming up in big situations at the plate to help get you run support? They're working so hard. They helped me out a lot today, and I couldn't do it without them. They were awesome. Uh, today was awesome. We Aaron came out. She pitched a fantastic game, and we locked it down defensively. We made some good plays out there, and then we kept battling at the plate. Just the first pitcher had him pull the first pitcher, uh, put in Bollinger, and we started getting the hang of her and just cranked her the last few innings. And you so it was drove awesome. in two of Tech's three runs. Just talk about your approach at the plate and just going head to head against two really great Texas pitchers. Um, I was just thinking, stay competitive. Like Coach Shea said, and that all of us have done this whole time, is stay competitive, uh, somehow put the ball in play, whether it's a hard ball on the ground or a sack, I got a sack fly. Um, and Shelby came in that last inning, and she hit one through. I was so happy for her because she went pitch, pinch hit, and then everything worked like perfect that last inning. That was great. Um, Coach G had mentioned that you know, y'all were feeling more like y'all were at the beginning of the season, sort yeah. of picking that back up. Is that how do you guys feel in the dugout and in the locker room? Does that really hold up to what y'all were doing? Yeah, it's really coming together right now. Uh, our energy was back to what we were doing. We were getting the crowd involved, and that's that's tech softball. You know, 
being competitive, believing that we can go out and get it done, making the choice to compete every at bat, every play, and uh, I believe we did that this game. And what do you guys need to do to sort of get back into it and get ready for tomorrow? We need to keep the same game we had this game. Bring the energy and uh, stay with our plan in the box and uh, we'll come out with a win tomorrow.